Hi folks, if you have explored our other Shifting Schools free guidance on using ChatGPT, you've maybe already seen the video where I run through using ChatGPT to help draft a self-guided syllabus. I'll actually link to that video in the show notes of this one if you want to check it out. Um, but it kind of goes along with what I'm about to do in showing you how you and your group might leverage ChatGPT as a planning tool. If you are already thinking ahead to Pride Month, you might want to explore how ChatGPT can help set our student teams up to do some of the timeline guidance, to generate some ideas for how you might celebrate Pride, and to find some additional resources. Again, I just want to reiterate, this is a drafting tool. I'm not here suggesting that ChatGPT is going to plan Pride Month. Of course, that's the work of our human group, right? Uh, that's where our contextual experience, wisdom, and knowledge of our community's needs really comes into play. But in terms of getting some templates ready or even brainstorming uh, what we want the weeks leading into Pride to look like, I think it's a really resourceful tool. So let's take a look. So here I am prompting ChatGPT to give us a 10-week planning schedule to help us prepare to celebrate Pride Month. And perhaps I need to ensure that the plan is more specific. So here I am asking it to focus on an elementary school GSA who hopes to make sure that Pride Month features collaborations with artists and has intersectional learning. And to take it further, I'm asking it for a list of 10 ways that we can celebrate Pride Month in an elementary school. And if we're perhaps looking for um, some guest speakers or nonprofit organizations to support in our celebrations, I'm asking it for a list of nonprofit orgs that support the LGBTQ plus community. And perhaps I know that part of the Pride celebration is going to be some in-class curricular links, so I'm asking for a four-week syllabus for a fifth grade class who's looking to learn more about allyship for the LGBTQ plus community. Doing a bit more research, I'm asking for a list of 10 important scientists who are LGBTQ. And again, an important prism I think to bring to any of the results from ChatGPT is spotting bias, seeing what information they are prioritizing. And so then I can take this list and I can ask it to rewrite the list, focus, focusing in on scientists from Asia. So again, some of this information 
I want to fact check, I want to remind students of why that's important, but can I leverage ChatGPT to help us do some of that brainstorming for Pride Month? I think so. And once more, returning to our three questions, what do we need to dig into further? Might we return to that OpenAI charter? Which biases did we see present in the responses?